In this application example, we will demonstrate how to set up an electrochemistry model to estimate corrosion in an iron pipe because of the presence of dissolved carbon dioxide in the fluid flowing through the pipe. So in this case, we have a pipeline with two inlet and two outlet. The idea is that as the flow mixes through the um, pipeline, uh, as they flow through and head towards the outlet, we'll be able to see the effect of concentration of car dissolved carbon dioxide on the corrosion rate. To set up such a model, we'll be using the pressure based approach and the steady state analysis methods. We'll be using species transport. We will have to create a few materials to set up the model. The reaction that we have to set up, iron reacting with carbon dioxide in presence of water will form iron ion, CO3 two negative, and hydrogen will be released as gas. So in this case, the cathodic reaction will be hydrogen cation accepts two electrons forming hydrogen gas. The acid dissociates into hydrogen gas and HCO3 negative. And iron dissociates into iron ion and releases two electrons. To set up such a problem, we'll first activate the species transport model, activate volumetric reactions and electrochemistry. Once electrochemistry is active, you will have more parameters available with the fluid materials, such as electrical conductivity and charge number. As you can see for hydrogen cation, the charge number is set to one. Similarly for carbonate ion, the charge number is set to minus one. Carbonic acid has a charge number of zero. Iron metal has a charge number of zero. Hydrogen gas has a charge number of zero. Iron ion that is Fe2 plus has a charge number of two. Now using these materials, we'll create the mixture template. And we can look at how the mixture template looks like under the mixture species. Click on edit. These are different available materials and we can pull them to the selected species. Species which create the mixture template is carbonic ion, carbonic acid, uh, Fe2+, H2, H+, and H2O. And the iron is selected as a solid species. With the mixture template set, now we will set up the reactions. The first reaction is the anodic reaction where iron dissociates into Fe2 plus and the equilibrium potential is set to minus 0 0.1. For the cathodic reaction, we have carbonic acid reacting to form hydrogen gas and carbon ion. The equilibrium potential is set to 0 0.1. The cathodic reaction, which is second part where hydrogen is changing to a hydrogen cation and the equilibrium potential is set to minus 0.1. In the reaction mechanism, you have the option of selecting active reaction mechanisms. In this case, all three reactions are active. Now we move to setting up the inlet conditions. We have two inlets. One of the inlets will contain carbonic acid. The other inlet will only contain water. The idea being we will be able to see where the corrosion rate is higher. Inlet one, so this is the inlet one. The velocity is set to 0 0.1 meters per second. The temperature is set to 300 Kelvin. We have 0 0.05 mass fraction of carbonic acid in this inlet. 
the rest of the fluid is water. Similarly, for inlet two, the species is all set to zero. That means only pure water is flowing through this inlet. Potential is set to zero, temperature 300 Kelvin, and the momentum is 0 0.1 meters per second. Both the outlets are set to atmosphere. So the gauge pressure is set to zero, and the reverse flow condition is also set to water only. The wall condition is set to stationary wall, no slip boundary condition, adiabatic, Species fluxes are zero and the electrochemistry reaction is active on the walls. With the potential at the boundary set to zero. And mechanism one is active, which contains. All the three reactions. Solution methods is we are using the default coupled method. Controls are also default values. We initialize the problem for one of the inlets. In this case, we will use inlet two so that the bound uh, the, there is no carbonic acid in the system at initialized condition, and then we run the calculation. Calculation converges monotonously. Calculation is completed. In under 40 iteration. Now we take a look at the corrosion rate. Corrosion rate is showcased in the unit of kg per meter square per second on the walls. We displayed and we can see the location from where carbonic acid was injected into the system that is inlet one has the highest corrosion rate and inlet two which had no carbonic acid only pure water was coming in has no corrosion or very very minimal corrosion and as the flow mixes and the concentration of carbonic acid reduces the corrosion rate also reduces Now we can also convert this unit of kg meters per second into something which is more understandable for an engineer. Say, for example, two millimeters of corrosion per year. To perform to do such a conversion, we can use the custom field function. You have to navigate to user define and custom field function and create a custom field function. In this case, the field function will take the iron corrosion rate, which is in terms of kg per meter square per second, divided by the iron density, that is 8030, and then multiply it by 365, 24, and 3600, which converts the seconds to per year, and multiply it by 1000 to convert meters to millimeters. The resultant units will be millimeters of corrosion per year. And we can plot it using a contour. So we will use custom field function millimeters per year, the name of the function. And now we can see that the location where the maximum corrosion is, is around 0 0.16 millimeters per year. As the concentration decreases, it reduces down to 0 0.07 millimeters per year. Now we want to see if we change the concentration of the inlet carbonic acid, whether that has an impact on the total corrosion rate or not. So to do that, we will change the inlet condition. In inlet one, we will change the species concentration, reduce the carbonic acid concentration to 0 0.001, apply, initialize the problem, Initialize the problem and run the calculation. As the calculation is complete, we take a look at the corrosion rate in terms of millimeters per year. We can see the condo shows corrosion rate, but our 
scales are very very large so to change that we double click on the contour we change the press type to exponential and now we can see the maximum corrosion rate is three minus three millimeters per year which has reduced significantly from what it was previously reported when the concentration of the acid was higher uh, this concludes today's uh, presentation thank you very much for your time